Work, grind, fly. All right, this video is about my new favorite weight loss trick. This is to uh, avoid gaining weight during certain special occasions or over the weekend. If you haven't checked it out, check out the predecessor video to this one. Did you gain five pounds last weekend? And if so, that video, which you can click here, teaches you how to lose those five pounds quickly and effectively. But let's check out my new favorite weight loss trick. Here we go. Well, Thursday, my love, here we are again. We are nearing the end of another week, another work week, and the lore of weekend fun beckons us. Now you may be saying to yourself, this week is going to be different from the last. This weekend, I will not be eating junk food. This weekend, I will not be getting up for second helpings at the family barbecue or wherever you are. Um, this weekend, I might end up at the local mall or the amusement park or a baseball game or some fancy pants restaurant or doggone it, even the local 7-Eleven at <laughs> 1 a.m. But I will not, and I repeat, I will not eat any junk food. Are you sure about that? <laughs> That's my next question. Because we do that, we go into the weekend with the greatest of intentions, like I'm gonna be so good this weekend, right? Good, I don't like the good and bad labels, but sometimes for lack of a better term. So I'm gonna be so good this weekend, I'm not gonna make any bad choices, I'm gonna exercise, I'm, <clears throat> you know, if I have some junk food, I'm only gonna have a little bit. If I go out, I'm not gonna go to a fast food place afterwards at one in the morning because I'm starving. I'm just gonna go home and munch on some carrot sticks or whatever it is we promise ourselves and then, you know, I hate to say it, but oftentimes, let's be honest, this, this ends up not being the case and we end up kind of abandoning our rules we've set and just going, you know, <clears throat> B-A-L-L-S to the wall and <laughs> um, having whatever we want because it's the weekend. That's our, that's our reason for it. It's the weekend and um, we'll figure it out on Monday. We'll clean up our act on Monday. And this is kind of insane because then we go around in this circle, it's like this just up and down and we're all hamsters and we never, we never truly get to where we wanna be. We never actually accomplish the goal that we've set out to accomplish as far as our, our physical, our fitness, our aesthetic goals are concerned and then stay there. We always kind of like make a little bit of progress during the week and then we backslide on the weekend. We make a little bit of progress, which isn't even progress anymore because we're just recovering from the weekend and then we do it again and then we recover and we do it again. And it's, this is crazy and it's, it messes us up up here more than we realize. We're carrying more self-doubt and more, um, you know, however you express it, express it either through aggression or depression or, you know, whatever you feel um, because you're going through this kind of endless cycle, this wheel that we keep spinning around in that I affectionately call the hamster wheel which, you know, just kind of traps us. It never keeps us being the truest version of ourselves, the version of ourselves that we're meant to be, which is just 100% awesome all the time. So, um, going back to this, <laughs> went off on a tangent there. So, um, are you sure that you're going to be good this weekend? How did this approach work out for you last weekend? You know, we start thinking about these things. What about the weekend before that? And the weekend before that? And the weekend before that? When was the last time you can think of where it wasn't totally boring or you were sick or you were just somewhere where you didn't have access to anything? Um, where was there a weekend where by choice you ate healthy food and enjoyed it and um, maybe you had a little bit of junk food but you didn't over go, you didn't overdo it and you just were proud of yourself at the end of the weekend and also not feeling like you missed out on life. You know, when was the last time you had a weekend like that? Really, that would be a really cool weekend, right? Am I right? Um, so chances are, you'll probably end up indulging a little bit this coming weekend and that's okay if it's a little bit. So how exactly does one go about that? Because self-restraint is so hard, right? Portion control in social settings or worse yet, portion control behind closed doors when no one is watching after a super tough work week, right? It's just madness. In what world do we have portion control in those types of situations? So I'm about to make this really easy for you. Watch this. This is a simple, effective, brainless trick for being able to avoid these situations. Just close your eyes. Isn't that crazy? Just 
Close your eyes. I know, I'm serious. Right before some unhealthy food enters your mouth, and I say in my blog, just simply shut those pretty peepers of yours. This will, so what does shutting your eyes do? This immediately slows you down. It will force you to recenter. It will cause your body's in, intuition to kind of come to your rescue. Um, because here's the thing, you want heavy food consumption, but let's think about why you, hi Bernard in France. Um, let's think about why you want to eat so much food. Think about why you really want that. Is it to taste the food? Is it the sensation of feeling full? Is it because of tradition? Is it because of peer pressure? Um, or like, you know, grandma's pressure, like family pressure? Um, why do we want to eat that much food? And sometimes that's very hard for us to answer right now. Thank you. Um, sometimes it's hard for us to answer that right now. And we have, to, we have to more think about it when we're in the moment. So if we can give ourselves pause and when we're at that barbecue that weekend, or when we're, um, at the family event or um, we're downtown, we're out and about, maybe at one in the morning, if we can stop and think about what am I really craving? Is it actually the food? And if it is, what part of the food, the taste, the texture, the fullness, whatever it is. Um, so if in fact, it's, sorry, text. Um, if in fact, if in fact the, um, the thing that you crave is the flavor, then this is the answer for you. This is the simple trick that's super, super helpful. So most people don't really enjoy their food. They start putting the next forkful, you know, together on their plate to shove in their mouths before they finish chewing the previous forkful. I am so guilty of this. I do this all the time. I'm, I'm looking down at my bowl that I'm eating, right? I put um, food in my mouth, I'm chewing it, and I'm already making the next amount of food happen, conglomerate so that I can shove that in my mouth and start chewing that. And then I never actually taste what's in my mouth. My, my meal is done in five minutes and I'm like, well, I didn't even, I barely remember what that tasted like. I, I didn't even enjoy it. So if you just close your eyes, I'm t you gotta try it. Just try it one time. And if you're embarrassed, try it in private. It's unbelievable. You actually taste your food in a whole different way. And it makes it so that you don't want to, uh, you don't need to eat more of it because we're chasing the flavor, we're chasing the flavor, but we never actually get it because we're not doing what we need to do in the first place to ever taste it, which is to actually stop and let our bodies taste it. So closing your eyes really, really helps with that. It's a really quick remedy for that. Um, let me see what else did I wanna say. So the meal is gone four minutes. We barely even remember the rich flavors we just consumed. I myself have been guilty of this so many times. Our minds are distracted by other thoughts as we start to shovel. And before we know it, we've eaten more than we've originally intended. And then of course, come Monday, we are overcome with guilt and lethar um, lethargy, 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 <laughs> and depression. Um, so let's avoid this totally avoidable problem once and for all, shall we? <sighs> Shut your eyes. Don't worry about looking weird. If people ask, uh, thanks, whoever that happy face was. Hi, Emily. <laughs> um, if people ask, don't worry about looking weird. Um, blame me. Say, this crazy girl that writes a blog and is on Facebook live videos told me to close my eyes while I eat because she said it would like make my food taste better. I don't know. Let me try it. Maybe some of your buddies or your family members will try it with you. You never know. Um, yeah, just tell them it's a weird new trick you're trying and to stop being so nosy, right? I mean, what you put in your body is kind of a personal decision. So, um, I could go on a whole tangent about that. I mean, you guys know that what you eat, uh, <laughs> yes, it's funny. Um, what you eat is, um, those things make up the cells in your body and cells in your body take seven years to turn over. So. What you're eating is literally going to become part of you for the next seven years. So think about that every time you eat something that's kind of gross. Like if you look at a food and you're already full, hi Alex, if you're looking at a food and you're already full and that, full, that food looks gross to you and you're full, like an In-N-Out burger or something like that, but if you were hungry, it would look better to you. That food is probably gross and you don't want that being a part of your body. So anyway. Um, eating is an intimate experience. I am very passionate about this, as you can see. Hi, Crystal. Um, and what you put in your body, what you decide to nourish it with is an extremely personal decision, like I said. Don't give anyone the authority to bully you about what or, or how you choose to eat. Um, 
If you don't believe that this simple trick will cure you from overeating, again, closing your eyes, try it tonight. Every time you take a bite, healthy or unhealthy, of food or drink something too, this works great for drinking liquids, excuse me, as well. Like if you don't, if you wanna limit your beer consumption, let's say you're trying to cut down on the amount of beer that you drink, close your eyes while you're drinking the beer. It's gonna make you really taste it and then you won't need to consume so much of it. You won't need to keep chasing that taste that you're never getting because you're not stopping to taste. Um, so chew, sip slowly while, you're, um, while you have your eyes closed. Do not allow yourself to open your eyes again. This is part of how it works um, until you've completely swallowed. So slow down, chew slower, just sip slower. Um, and then you can reopen your eyes to, to put together the next forkful or to like put your cup down and pick it back up again or whatever the case. But you have to remember, and I this was hard for me when I was trying this out for the first couple of times, you have to remember to reclose your eyes when you take the next bite. So as you see the spoon or the fork coming close to your face and you, butt, and you take the bite, close your eyes and then do it again. Um, and you don't have to do this for the whole meal, which is really cool too. You can do this a few times with a few bites or a few sips and it changes your perspective so much especially if you're already kind of attuned, you're already kind of health conscious and you're on that journey, you're on that road or path to thinking about how to respect um, and support your body better, then this will, this, will be, um, this will be so effective for you. So you just do the closing of the eyes a few times and then um, you don't even have to do this for the remainder of the meal because you'll already be kind of like good to go. You'll probably have a little bit more and then you'll be like, I'm good, I got what I needed. I got that taste, I got that texture, I got what I wanted out of this meal. And that is just so lovely, lovely. that is living. That is the opposite of feeling deprived after a whole weekend or um, yeah, or like you missed out, like that FOMO feeling. FOMO, fear of missing out, in case you guys didn't get that. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so you can reopen to use your fork or other eating utensil, but then you have to reclose as soon as the ne next bite nears your mouth or it won't work. Um, I have so much to say about the subject of eating with your mind instead of eating with your body, but I will just say this for now. We are an overweight country because of our eating decisions sitting squarely on the shoulders of our logic. And dear friends, everyone's logic is, is skewed, mine included. Um, you can get the mind to believe anything. The mind is so easily manipulated, but the body, however, never lies. That is why yours is so beautiful. And it's true, your body holds infinite wisdom. Um, and the only way to tap into this is to pay attention to it. So not paying attention to our ego, not paying attention to our brain or our pushy neighbor or the in-laws or whoever else is trying to get you to eat something, whoever or whatever <laughs> ego is, is trying to tell you to, to eat something that you don't want to eat or you kind of want to eat, but you're not sure, but you know it's not healthy, whatever the case. You let your body decide for itself what it wants in there. So first we clear out the noise of the busy, bossy mind, ego. Um, ergo, we close our eyes and now our bodies have some time. We've given our body some space and some room to tell us what it wants. Does it want more of something? Is it finished with something? Or simply does it want to stop for a moment so it can enjoy something? Um, and then I write, that is all for today. Try this, you will not be disappointed. Please tag me on social media when you share your experience so that I may hear all of your feedback. I am so excited for you to have a truly happy, healthy, epic weekend. And just as important, a guilt-free Monday. What sounds better than that? Guilt-free Monday. I'm all about those. Um, cheers to that. I love you, see you soon. So that's that's the end of that blog. And. Um, it's true, like I just, uh, I, I would love it if, if all of us had, if we could change one thing and that would be to not have any more guilt-free Mondays to like just get to Monday and feel like you do maybe like on a Wednesday. You know like how like Wednesday, Thursday, like you've been eating all good all week, you've been on your routine with going to the gym and like, you're like, man, I look good, you know what I mean? I look good right before you hit the weekend and then you just mess it all up. So <laughs> let's um, let's try, to close our eyes. Let's try to slow down a little bit. We can still indulge. We can still have some of that yummy, crazy junk food that for some reason us Americans seem to adore. Um, have a little bit, enjoy it by closing your eyes. If people think you're weird, tell them 
whatever you want in your personality and your language, tell them go F themselves or tell them that's my New Jersey coming out <laughs> or tell them um, peace be with you. That's maybe more hippie. I don't know. <laughs> tell them, uh, hey, try this with me, bro. Or um, it's just something weird. Mind your business, whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, do it. And then um, let me know how it goes for you. So there you have it, my dear, dear friends. When you try out this glorious little trick to prevent you from weight gain while having some delicious cheat meal style type item, tag me, uh, hashtag workgrindfly or at Leanne Price on social media so I can hear all about the uh, experience you had and, and how, it, how it worked for you. Um, also, make sure that you check out again the did you gain five pounds last weekend or i think it might be titled how to lose the five pounds you gained last weekend as the precursor to this video that you just watched thanks so much love you guys so much have a beautiful day work